Good morning, BMC family. Once again, welcome to our Wednesday devotion, friends. I must start by saying thank you to those who had my appeal last week about the people of uh, the shacks just around Primrose uh, that some of you guys did bring uh, clothes here at church. Some of you brought food and food parcels. And I'm told that some of you did send them straight to Primrose Methodist. Thank you, friends. Thank you for standing up and acting when God's people need you the most. Then let us begin with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for this time once again this Wednesday morning to have an opportunity for this devotion. May this devotion be a blessing to your people. May this devotion speak truth about your word. I pray all these things in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Friends, this morning our devotion reading is once again one of the lectionary readings, which is Psalm 148. I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 6. Psalm 148, verse 1 to verse 6. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him all His angels. Praise Him all His heavenly hosts. Praise Him sun and moon. Praise Him all you shining stars. Praise Him you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord for at His command they were created. And He established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that will never pass away. Friends, this is the word of God. And thanks be to God. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. May your word touch us, inspire us, open our hearts and our minds as we hear your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, my theme for this morning is when we stop praising God, all of his creation will praise him. Excuse me, friends. As God's people, we are created, whether we like it or not, to worship and praise God. Remember the book written by Rick Warren, Warren Purpose Driven Life? There's a chapter there where he asks, what on earth am I doing here? Or what on earth are we doing here? And one of his responses, which is scriptural, which I loved, was him emphasizing the fact that we, as God's creation, we as God's people, let me start there, we as God's people were created ultimately to worship and praise God. So therefore, one of the mandates or one of the callings in our lives is to worship and praise God. And that's one of the things that comes natural to us as humans. I don't know whether you've noticed that when we hear a sound of, of an instrument or music, the first thing that happens, I don't know about you, but with me, is either I want to move my body down, so I want to sing to, those, to that instrument. And it becomes natural. Why is it so natural? Because it's one of the things we were created to do. But unfortunately, the devil corrupts us and confuses us by making us think that worshipping God and praising God is nothing. Ah, come on, man. That's nothing. Even if you don't do it, nothing will happen to you. But friends, I want to encourage you that we go back to the basics. We go back to one of the reasons we were created, which is to worship God, and we encourage people to do so. That is why we encourage people to come to church, not only for fellowship, but also have the opportunity to worship God and praise God. That's why every time I speak, I encourage people that even when you take your walks or your runs in the morning or in the afternoon or evenings, you take that moment as a moment to worship God and praise God. So friends, my aim this morning is to encourage us to go back to the basis that is worship and praise God as God's creation because we're created to do that. Why am I encouraging you to do this? Do you think um, it will stop the other creation, creation to worship God when we stop worshiping God? And the answer is no. Remember when they asked Jesus to tell the people to keep quiet because they were making noise when they were worshiping him and praising him? He said, if these keep quiet, these stones will start making noise, which means these stones will start worshipping me. Here, we are reminded today, friends, that when we stop worshipping God, God's creation will continue to worship him with or without us because the psalmist here says, praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. 
Praise Him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the sky. Let them all praise God. So therefore, friends, when we stop worshipping God, God's creation will start worshipping God. So let us not then get into that comfort zone of not worshipping God. Yes, we might be created to worship God, but when we keep quiet, don't think that worship is over or praise of God is over, but the creation will take over. And the creation will do what we're meant to do. So therefore, let's encourage one another. And friends, once you are in that zone of praising God and worshiping God, let me tell you, you, you have got this joy in your heart. You've got this connection to God. You've got this connection to God's creation. And that's the connection we should maintain at all times, that we should be connected to God at all times, no matter what. And what connects us to God is worship and praise. Let us go out there then and praise God and encourage other fellow Christians to do the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your way to remind us that yes, you created us to worship you, but when we stop worshiping you, moon and the sun, the stars and the skies and the waters will continue worshiping you. Bless us. Guide us this week. In Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, have a blessed week. May God be with you. May God guide you. In Jesus' name.